just read the next okay. one. Okay, credit to you, Roko, for surviving the dense hatred pulling out of Twitter read your 2008 article. Oh, God, what is What article? It? Oh, no. Oh, no. What article well, we need to, okay, no, I didn't. I haven't looked at Twitter for a while, so that'll be fun. All right, no, we'll talk about it because it, this is serious. So you're aware of the Nicky Winmar story today? No. You stopped reading the news, have you? I was kind of focusing on the Okay, game. so Nicky Winmar and Wade Ludby are suing uh, Don Scott, Sam Newman and Mike Sheehan about comments on their podcast in which Don and Sam both said that Nicky Winmar's raising of the jumper, he was talking about guts, not his skin colour. And Mike said his impression that day was the same thing. Um, so uh, Nicky and Wayne are suing the three of them. Mm. I knew I'd get dragged into this. I wrote a column uh, for The Age back in 2008 about sporting symbolism. And I was talking about a number of things like the famous um, Freddie Flintoff, Brett Wee photo after the... yabba dabba do. No, don't. This is serious. Oh, well, you ruined my... No, no, but this is really serious. Oh, now this is really <laughs> serious. I'm telling you, fine. It is okay. really serious. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll be well, serious. Well, we're talking about the Nicky Winmar thing, mate, and so just... Mate, and as I said, killed a man. Okay. All right, no, I'm back on board. Okay, good. I, I agree. I understand about sporting Okay, symbolism. so, in well, in the course of the column, I mentioned how some people had disputed... Winmar's version of events, and I put, uh, I know that like Dwayne Russell had spoken to me about how he claimed several St Kilda teammates, and Nicky said he never said I'm black and I'm proud of it. It was we've got guts. So I referenced that in this cor course of the column. Mm -hmm. I didn't say one way or the other what I thought about it. It was just one of a series of examples. So this has been take, um, <laughs> taken out of context, thrown in my face today. People saying, well, I was saying the same thing. A, I wasn't. I was reporting what other people had said about it. B, my stance on this has always been that... Um, now, incidentally, there was an important postscript to that. About, I think, a week later, I r ran into Wayne Ludby in the press box and came to me and said, listen, mate, that, that's not right. I, I heard it. Um, and I've known Ludders for 35 years and I trust him implicitly, so I, I, that's enough for me. I believe it. But... Whether he, he said it or not, and I'm, I'm saying I reckon he said it, but even if he hadn't, there is absolutely no question that the gesture of lifting his jumper and pointing to his skin was in response to the racism he and Gilbert McAdam had received all day in that game, uh, which I was covering, by the way. So mm -hmm. unlike a lot of people pontificating on it, I was actually at the game. Um, so I believe he said, I'm black and I'm proud of it, but even if he hadn't, what he was doing was a gesture purely in response to the racism he had received. And if you're saying we did it with guts, why would you lift up your jumper to show your guts? You'd only lift up your jumper to show the colour of your skin, wouldn't you? So, I mean, my point is that for Sam and Don Scott to leap on that, and Sam was being a real smart ass about it, sort of saying, oh, yeah, it's that, you know, the uh, people adjusting the narrative to suit their own story. They're, they're completely barking up the wrong tree because it's the gesture that is the... Uh, the point of this, not the actual words that came out of his mouth at the time. Okay. Do you agree with that? Uh, I've got a couple of things to say. Do about you this. agree with that? Not a hundred percent, but sort of. Okay. Well, first of all, the year before, yeah, those two players were subject to the most vile racism I've ever heard at the football in the game. St Kilda just lost. Yeah. So this is two years in a row, right? Nicky Winmar was a brilliant footballer. At the end of a game of football, I don't know whether Nicky is consciously making a decision about anything. St Kilda's just won the game. Mm. But upon lifting up his jumper, I can guarantee you, because I was at that game, mm. it transcended anything I've ever heard of the football in terms of outrageous, vile vilification. So whatever his intentions were when he lifted up that jumper, as he was approaching a stand with everybody calling him the worst names you've ever heard, yeah. spitting and whatever, he was proudly showing what colour skin he had. So you are agreeing with I'm you. saying, but whether that was... Um, whether that was uh, premeditated 
or whether, as he was walking and got closer to the din of hatred, mm. he was proud of his colour and pointing at it and making, you know, and believe me, you know, guts is one thing to win a game. When you stand tall and proud like that in front of that barrage, that's only one thing. That was about the colour of your skin. So you are agreeing with me. 100%. Well, you just said you weren't agreeing well, with me. Well, I think you suggested that he had that plan as he lifted up no, his No, no, that's not what I said at all. What I said was the words that issued forth from his mouth as he did it are secondary to the gesture, right? Well, so it's possible, for instance that he could lift his jumper and say we did it with guts, still be responding to the racism. Yeah, that's my yeah, point. I'm saying that's the closer you'd needed to. You were there. Yeah, you, 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 I covered the game. You could be in the behaviour of that crowd. Yeah, yeah, no, they were they were shocking. They were feral. Mate, yeah. St Kilda won their first game at Collingwood for 17 years that yeah. day. We did the press conference with Ken Sheldon in the race because the visitors' rooms were too crowded, and we were getting spat on by yeah. the Collingwood fans in the race. Has Collingwood ever officially apologised for what happened? I, I personally, as a not just as a St Kilda supporter, but as somebody who absolutely loved and just you know any time I spent thereafter with Nicky Winmer and Gilby was precious time for me. Mm. Offended by their president, who was a you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, I mean, he made it worse, I think. Made the, it worse? The, His the behaviour was work. outrageous. Yeah, he, well, said, he said that I, they... Yeah, I know what he yeah. said. He well, said what if, did he say? He said uh, if they behave like white people, everybody will respect them. Yeah. And it was the classic unconscious racism. He, oh, he didn't realise what he was saying was racist. I'm not defending oh, him, God. Fanny. You're not listening I'm to saying, what I'm saying. I'm saying, but I don't like the way Eddie Maguire has embraced it as a great moment in football. I don't believe the Collingwood Football Club has ever faced up to their their place at the top of the queue as a racist football club. Well, there's a certain premiership player whose actions at the moment would underline that yeah, for him it's still... Uh... Collingwood were one of two clubs that actively had a non-Indigenous player policy. Mm. A, and, long, a long time ago. In my lifetime. Yeah, a long time ago. Along with Don Scott's club. Yeah. Yeah. You know, why don't we ever talk about that? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, clearly that podcast is out to create a stir and Sam now is sort of doing this on a, a twice weekly basis. And again, like we said last week, um, you know, I guess this one was a bit hard not to report. But, I mean, at some point people have got to go, incidentally, like, if we're going to talk about racism in the media, bugger it. I know it's a footy podcast. Andrew Bolt uh, yesterday wrote the arguably the most disgusting column he's ever written, and that is a big call, I know. But basically suggesting that multiculturalism is to blame for the spread of coronavirus. He, he's a man actively inciting racial hatred. He's already been convicted by the courts for racism. And I'll tell you what, I don't know if there's anyone from the Herald Sun watching. I call on my colleagues at the Herald Sun, a lot of who we both know and like, Fanny. But enough's enough, guys. The time has come for you to bloody step up and challenge your editors for ticking off on that garbage and actually helping spread racism in this community. Irresponsible, and it should be bloody, it should be illegal what they are actually running in their paper. And that man, Andrew Bolt, you are a vile, vile pig of a human being. Sorry, but I'm really, really angry about that. And it's about time some of our mates, even who work in sports, stood up to your editors and said, we are not going to be tarnished by this absolute prick of a human being anymore. All right, let's get on with the footy. 